And thank you for coming to our How to Connect Your Magento Web Store Seamlessly with Your Accounting Software webinar. For today's webinar, I'll give a quick intro to eBridge Connections and what exactly we do as a company. I'll then pass it off to Blair, who will discuss the Magento integration process and how an integration would really benefit your current Magento Web Store investment. We'll end this quick presentation by having an open Q&A, so feel free to ask questions throughout the presentation, and at the end, we'll go over them and answer them um, for the ones that come through. Um, eBridge Connections has over 20 years experience in the accounting software integration industry. We were founded by our current CEO, Colin Brown, in 1993, and back then, we only did EDI integration projects. Since then, we've added over 1,000 EDI trading partners, 20 e-commerce web stores, and popular CRM platforms. Our most recent milestone was putting our integration solution on the cloud, and we are continuously making improvements to our cloud-based integration solutions. So eBridge is based out of Burlington, Ontario, Canada, which is just a hop, skip, and a jump away from Toronto. Um, at eBridge, we build, maintain, and support all of our own solutions. We don't rely on any third-party software. Our integration has the ability to integrate hundreds of different connections. There are many different advantages to the eBridge integration, including once you have your integration and you want to add more connections easily and quickly, um, we can pretty much do that on the fly. Uh, software upgrades and data format changes requested by your trading partners if you're doing EDI are included in your purchase. Uh, we eliminate all manual data entry and create this seamless end-to-end -end integration platform. And once you're a customer, we don't charge based on the number of documents you're, you transfer. It's an annual fixed price. I'm now going to pass the presentation off to Blair, who will divide and explain our Magento integration process to you. Thanks, Pam. And I think what we're going to do today is just uh, briefly go over some of the uh, main points of the integration, kind of the overall, the, the where, the when, the how, the why, the who, the what, and kind of just go through different aspects. And we're going to use some lingo uh, that we use internally at the eBridge, uh, what I call touch points. Um, and touch points are kind of the, the data that flows back and forth, and we define those, and we'll go, kind of go through those in, in a few minutes. So. Overall, the, the eBridge architecture is set up uh, very similar to this, at a very high level. This is kind of what we, uh, how we have things set up. Uh, on the left-hand side, we have uh, e-commerce, EDI, and CRM. So your e-commerce would be uh, things like Magento, Amazon, eBay, uh, big commerce, um, you know, e-commerce platforms like that. Uh, could be something custom that you've created in-house. Uh, EDI could be from different trading partners, like a Home Depot, a Walmart and sending information to you uh, for purchasing. Uh, CRMs like Salesforce, uh, Microsoft CRM, uh, and we can integrate with uh, one of those or um, multiple stores, multiple EDI trading partners, combinations of those. Uh, really the possibilities are really limitless. Uh, that information goes through our ePortal. Uh, the documents will reside there on a secure uh, server. Uh, those will be transformed so that we can then uh, transform those to a standard XML format and send those down to the ERP uh, for integrating into uh, your, your ERP system. And on the ERP side, we do support about 40 different um, accounting software packages, some of the major ones like Sage, NetSuite, Microsoft Dynamics, Family of Products, Epicor, SAP, Family of Products. Um, we integrate all those. Specifically, we're talking about Magento today. Um, these are some of the touch points which I talked about earlier. Uh, sales orders is probably our top uh, touch point that we uh, sell to our customers, and that's of course bringing uh, sales orders into your accounting system. Uh, inventory out, so maintaining those inventory levels once the sales orders are completed. Uh, product updates, so uh, product updates are slightly different than a different touch point that we have called inventory. Um, so a product is actually the, the, the pricing, the product information, maybe a uh, in the case of G Microsoft GP or Magento, it could be uh, the different uh, price levels or uh, tiered pricing. Uh, the inventory is simply the inventory and the, and the UPC or SKU. Uh, that's 
the only data that gets passed back and forth. The shipment update is essentially once you complete uh, the sales order, you invoice the customer, you ship out the product, that information will flow up to Magento in the form of a, um, a shipment update, a tracking information, uh, and then the customer will get an email saying that the product shipped and here's your tracking information. So closing that loop on the entire process. And what we're going to do now is actually go through each of those touch points in detail and kind of give, again, a high-level overview of what happened. So customers will still go on your Magento store, just like they do today. Uh, eBirds does not add any modules or add-ons or anything that would affect code uh, within Magento. Uh, those sales orders will be created just as they are today, uh, no change uh, to your customer or to you. Um, the ePortal will pick up those orders, um, process them immediately, uh, and send those down to the ERP. So if you're doing, some of our customers are, are light uh, users, they might have two, three orders a day, and then we have heavy users which are doing you know, hundreds or even a, a, to a thousand or plus orders a day, sending down to your ERP. Um, that information uh, comes into the ERP. If the customer doesn't exist, we will check against items like uh, maybe the email address, maybe a customer telephone number, uh, maybe an address, and if that customer exists, we'll just simply update it. Um, if the customer doesn't exist, we will create that from scratch and put it against the sales order. After the sales order is complete, uh, you can post, uh, create the invoice, post it, uh, whatever ERP process takes place after that fact still remains intact. Again, we don't modify anything within the structure of your ERP. Uh, when we're talking about inventory update, uh, essentially we uh, will send um, the information once the orders are processed. Of course, that will take items out of your inventory or stock. Um, and then, you know, once a day or twice a day, however often you want to update your inventory, that information will go through from your sales order system, uh, your ERP, uh, to the ePortal as a uh, large block of data. And then inventory will be updated uh, accordingly. Uh, so those uh, product, and, and not every customer does uh, inventory updates. Uh, some of our customers are manufacturers, so they always have product or they're doing custom uh, one-offs for customers. Um, so inventory is not an issue on their site, but a lot of our, a uh, majority of our customers want to keep inventory levels on the Magento store, so they actually will have this process in place. For product update, like I said, basically, once you're updating, you don't want to be maintaining your products on the Magento store and your ERP um, simultaneously, because there could be mistakes, problems, back and forth. Uh, what you want to really happen is whoever is responsible for updating your products or adding products in your ERP system, you want to have a system in place or integration in place that will update your uh, Magento store. Um, and this will update, again, on a scheduled basis. So if you're constantly changing product or uh, dimensions on product or if you have uh, customizations on product, that information can be pushed to the Magento store and be updated on a regular basis so your customers have the most accurate descriptions and uh, price levels. And then finally, shipment update. Uh, again, once your invoice is uh, produced, the shipping and tracking number, you could have an add-on to your ERP system. It could be a number of different add-ons. It doesn't really matter to us. Um, once that tracking number is associated with a sales order or an invoice, um, that will be uh, pushed over to the ePortal, uh, attach itself to the order, and update within Magento. So that customer will get a shipment update. And again, that closes the loop of the order. So uh, you don't have to be uh, on top or maintain or do a separate process uh, to maintain your um, kind of that, that, that touch that you're going to have with your customer. Uh, they'll get the information, uh, and all you have to do is fulfill your information on the back end. So what we, what we kind of wanted to do here is kind of look at features that Magento offers that are kind of Magento-specific um, and how eBridge really integrates with those uh, feature sets. So one of the major things that Magento offers is configurable product, uh, simple items or configurable items. And if you're not familiar with Magento or if you are familiar with Magento, this will just basically reinforce some facts that you already know about. Um, this basically will kind of uh, emphasize uh, what we do uh, to facilitate some of these, uh, these uh, configurable products within Magento. And every uh, ERP is a bit different. Uh, most of them support configurable products. There are some uh, that uh, work better than others. Um, but essentially, you, you want to look at uh, a simple item as uh, each item has its own SKU um, that are traded on the fly. Um, 
<laughs> so a simple item basically will have um, a SKU associated with it. A configurable item um, will have its, its own SKU as well, uh, but you can actually select a size, a color, a style associated with that SKU. So if you have t-shirts, for example, and you want a purple shirt, um, that's size medium, that's a, a certain style, um, that can be configured within Magento and becomes basically its own SKU. And just to give you an example with the GP, you can set up a very similar system. And a lot of ERPs have these uh, multiple tiers for things like shirts and be able to have a different price structure for, let's say, if it's an orange shirt, it's more expensive than a black shirt or white shirt, so there might be a premium placed on that. And, and basically that information that you've already set up in GP or another system like NetSuite can be pushed over to um, the Magento catalog through our integration. So no matter what you do, you can have fixed pricing, you can have a uh, you know, variance price of a percentage or a dollar amount. And all that information can be tied together within both systems using our uh, pr what we call our pro data touch point or product touch point. Another thing that uh, Magento does or allows for is multiple skins. So multiple skins allow you to basically put a different look and feel on your system uh, or your Magento store without actually changing uh, the Magento store using the same backend database. Um, allowing you to uh, alter things for certain customers. Maybe you are a B2B uh, instead of a B2C, or you do both. So this is where you can have a different skin for those B2B customers as for retail customers. Uh, our system, again, doesn't really care. It's going to bring in the orders. We can actually flag them differently or label them differently. So when they go into your ERP, you'll know what store it came from um, so or skin. So that's very important. With the multiple store scenario, we can still support that, just like we can support different carts. Um, but in this case, with Magento, we have store one and store two. You could have even maybe three stores. But essentially, those run on separate databases. Um, we can still bring those into the ePortal under one account, or we can actually have multiple accounts, depending on how you break down your uh, system. You could have one single ERP that we're bringing all the orders down. And again, we could flag them to the different uh, store they came from. Or you might have uh, two different ERPs and have to split those orders out accordingly and have that flow. And either way, any configuration we can accommodate with our um, ePortal and our uh, integration. So you just have to make us aware when we're talking about how, how your business runs and operates. And if you have any future plans to create additional skins or additional stores, that's important information when we're trying to price and work with you on an integration solution. Other things that come up from time to time are taxes, discounts, and coupons. So this is um, very similar to a lot of systems uh, out there, but Magento does things uh, its way. So you can calculate taxes in Magento, have them transfer over to your ERP, or you can use uh, different add-ons. Uh, we support, uh, like the use Avalero or something like that. We support that type of integration. Apply discounts and have them applied throughout the integration. So you can uh, have a discount on a line item and have them appear on that detail line item, or you can have them separate. It's totally up to you um, how you want to basically break down your coupons. We actually have business rules in place that you can actually have coupons appear at a certain uh, point in time, uh, just to coincide with your Magento store. So if you have something running for a week of promotion, uh, we can have uh, the system basically process those separately or differently into your ERP uh, through what we call business rules. And then the final piece that we're going to talk about is everybody talks about custom fields and different processes that you might have. And um, a lot of customers will customize Magento, will add their own fields. Uh, maybe they will add the fields as well into their ERP. Uh, we can definitely accommodate that and build out your integration to facilitate those additional custom fields. We just need to know about them ahead of time. Uh, really, we want to customize the integration um, to, to your liking and really customize your workflow so it works for you and allow to keep your current process. We don't want to have a situation where we're doing things differently um, to, to basically maintain your business. Uh, we want to make sure things run as smoothly and as uh, what basically you're used to doing currently now. Uh, we try to match that as best we can. Um, and the custom fields is definitely uh, something that we can accommodate. And this just brings us back to eBridge making everything easier for you. So the eBridge uh, portal and the bridge make things easier for your integration. Uh, you can add touch points as you require them. So a lot of customers might start off with sales orders and maybe inventory and add uh, 
product or a product update or shipping update later or customer update. Uh, it's it's up to you on how you think you think you want to start or you want to start small and, and scale. Um, updates are easy for system changes. So once you have an integration set up, if you're moving up to two different versions uh, from like an ERP system, like let's say GP10 to GP2013, uh, that makes uh, our life a lot easier. It's an easy uh, step up from that. Uh, add multiple web stores. We went through that with skins and uh, the actual different uh, stores. Uh, we can uh, basically support both. And if you uh, you want to leverage the investment, so if you spent a lot of time setting up your store or you don't have a store and you need to invest that money, you really want to have uh, you know the best of both worlds and have uh, basically if you're doing a lot of orders online, you want to bring those orders in seamlessly and have somebody be able to look at that information and make sure it's accurate and you're able to fulfill your orders through the shipment up.